Hey y'all, welcome back to uh, my channel. I don't think I've ever said that. Where'd that come from? Anyway, um, how are y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a good day. I have been busy this morning. Whew, I'm out of breath. I probably should have stopped for a minute before I sat down to do this. Been busy packing some things up this morning, getting some things out and um, some custom stuff out and all that good stuff. I got a little string here, it's bugging me. Um, but I told you guys I was gonna do a flip through of my, uh, the baby book that I made for my granddaughter that's coming in January and she's really on my mind. Everybody swear I'm starting to get really excited now. They went to the doctor yesterday and I don't have the pictures yet, um, but I'll kind of update you as I start working in this because I've put some things in here already of ultrasound and then the couple of pictures of the reveal of the sex of the baby and that kind of thing. Um, but update from yesterday, they went to the doctor and they can see the ultrasound. They can see all our little fingers and all our little toes and stuff and everybody's starting to really get excited. So anyway. Um, so this is the book that I picked up when I was in Texas, when I went to, went to meet and visit my sweet friend, Phaedra, and we just had a blast. So, um, and I found this at a, they have a, a store, which is for the library. So they actually, they don't do like a library book sale like we do around here. Anyway, they have a, a store where they sell their, their library books and stuff and they have a vintage section. And I found this there and I just, I couldn't leave it. It was uh, so precious. I've tied this too tight. <laughs> anyway, so I, you know, I made one of my little ties for my book. And I used, uh, and it's already, I've stuck, I've stuck a bunch of stuff in here that I want to use. I still have room to grow and I can take things out and stuff like that. So um, it's kind of chunky already and I don't have but a few pictures in it. But it's, it's like, um, let me get my old ratty ruler out here. This is like seven and three quarters by a little over nine and a half. So it, it's a good size book. And this is this is a really good size for working in for me. I like this size. Anyway, I covered it. I did the spine and um, some vintage sheet that I picked up at my favorite store that y'all hear me talking about. And then the charm I did um, like I did on that other little book, uh, the, uh, the tea party book added some ribbon here on the charm along with the twine and put all these buttons uh, came in happy mail and I just I love them I think all the buttons on here um, pretty much all the stuff that's on this came in happy mail and that just makes me even happier when I when I look at it and then this is a little um, this sari and this ribbon right here this mushroom and this little acorn came in a swap um, from Jessica Harris and I finally um, am using some of that and put it on here and this was a little bee charm that Jessica sent me and I put a key on here so and then there's a key down at the bottom and I can add other things to this I may add some other things I've got these really cute wooden dominoes that I recently found that I may make um, some charms out of and I think I might add one of those and then um, in a Happy Mail package that I recently received, there were these beautiful handmade buttons. And I think I'm gonna take one of these and add it here as well. And I just love this. This is a little friendship tag. And uh, the lady who sent them to me, she purchased them from somebody else on Etsy, but aren't they gorgeous? So they came from um, Cynthia Crane's Pottery. So y'all might wanna check her out because these are gorgeous. I don't know if you can really see them. But I would love to start doing stuff like that, but I swear y'all, if I add anything else to my arsenal right now, I just don't think I can do it. And then there's some, um, this is some of that stone paper Phaedra sent me this a while ago, and I totally forgot. I was gonna bind some of it in here, and I totally forgot. So I pulled it out, and I'm gonna make a pocket or something, use this some way in here, because I love this stuff. Okay, I'll try not to babble babble. I just, I love this book. And it has the, it actually has the little um, inscription in it where somebody wrote and gave this to um, Martha Eloise, cannot read the last name, from Mommy and Daddy, October 22nd. 
and I think that's 19, I don't know if it's 19, this is a 1940s book, so that might be 1945, it just doesn't look like a four there, because this book was actually printed in 1940. So I did not use all the book, I just used a few pages, so I have some other pages that I'm going to use in other projects. But um, just to show you, I started it, and I know none of you have really seen it. I think the only thing I've put in here where I've actually done my journaling or my photo journaling, I, I use, I'm more heavy, heavy on the photo side than I am on the writing side. I'm trying to do better about that. Um, so, except my Christmas, I think I did my Christmas journal a couple of, a year or so ago. Anyhow, so here's a little peanut. There's a little peanut. And I just put those there, and then I put a little card here um, that I can journal on. So it's some other things in there to write on. And then here's how um, I'm using the photo sleeves like I did, like I'm doing in some of my books here recently. So this is at the reveal party. So I just put a couple of pictures from that in there, and I'm going to journal on these and uh, write her name and all that stuff on there. Uh, this came in some happy mail, love it. This is full of happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy stuff. <laughs> like happy mail, um, things that I love, things from, you know, from my stash, stuff that I've made, things like that. Um, so this is some of my tea dyed um, mixed media paper. Some of that washi Wednesday washi tape that I love. These are little things that came in Happy Mail that um, are just, just so precious that I'm wearing them in here. Look at this little tag. I love this little tag and this little paper clip. So uh, one of my customers who's always sending me just the most wonderful things, and I've got a couple of customers who sent me some pretty amazing stuff. But this is a little paper clip and a little piece of fabric ribbon that she sent a while back. I wanna use that in here and this little bag, so cute. So I'm gonna do something with it, I don't know what yet. Look at this little tag, look at that little stamp. Just, you know, pretty, you know, simplistic, simple, but just so cute. So that's going in here. I'll set these aside for now, cause I've just tucked them in. Um, some little, uh, this is like a little photo, um, photo mat here, frame. So I'm gonna put that in here somewhere. One of the pieces of the fly leaf page that came in the book. This is actually a piece of old, old, old measuring tape that came from my mama's sewing box. So I put that in here. Um, some of my favorite papers, you know, you guys know, if you watch me at all, some of my favorite papers from uh, the Childcraft books. And I did, I put one of my hidden paper clips in here. And on this side is the envelope. And it has some little journaling spots in there. Some of that ledger paper I picked up in Texas. Just black cardstock. This was a mistake when I was trying to do an envelope. Okay, I'd gotten that envelope punch board. I just want to show you how you can just take a mistake and you can use it. So the other side, where's the other side? The other side looks like that. So it was wonky. It wasn't straight when I cut it. And it just didn't look right. So what I did was folded it up on that side, folded it up on that side, stitched down and made a tuck spot here, and made a little pocket here. So I thought that was, I thought was kind of clever, but good way to use up a boo-boo. I made a envelope out of some um, authentic paper that I love. I, I love these, I love the newer stuff that uses the older images. I really like that. This is a nice, if you've never bought authentic paper, and uh, not trying to be an enabler, but there's a texture to this paper. It's not a, um, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not good at that. Anyway, so here's another little card that came in Happy Mail. Look at that. It's just so cute. So I'm probably gonna stick a photo in that, use that somehow in here and then uh, clipped in another page here from, from the Childcraft book. Some little um, journaling spots here and just some little scraps. These are little, um, these are little pieces that came off of pieces that my customer, one of my customers sent me in Happy Mail. 
and I'm, I'm gonna use these little bits and pieces in here. You know, just put them down at the bottom of the page, add a little bit of, you know, a little bit of something, something to it. Anyway, this is one of my favorite. I love this particular paper. I love these colors. So I had to add a piece of that in here. This is a, this is one of my little paper bags that I've made. Um, and I just did a kind of like a little cluster with this and a pocket on the front with the layaway tag. Stuck with a little, this is one of those um, Denison labels, but it's a printed Denison label. Just a little cluster and a little thing here. I actually had made this. I, I have a lot of embellishments in my, in my stash and then it's also a tuck spot on this side. So it's a tuck here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. Um, I have a lot of embellishments made. That's something that I do when I get through with a project. I will take the scraps and get little pieces out and try to make other little embellishments or envelopes or tags or things like that. And then I throw them in a box and I have them. Um, and then I get to use up a lot of scraps too. Here's some little, this is a little button that also came in Happy Mail. Like I said, this book, this book is happy, happy, happy. Uh, I also did the same thing like I did in the other book that I just showed. And those butterflies, I love those butterflies. And I just made a little, um, just stitched it in. Just a little embellishment on the side. A little photo sleeve. And this is a journaling card that came in Happy Mail. And I, I love polka dots. Love this paper, love this color. And this was a piece, this was a scrap piece um, of beautiful, looks like a vintage sheet, feels like a vintage sheet, and some Happy Mail, and look at look how the colors go. So that, I'm gonna use that in here somewhere. I probably may make a ruffle or something on the edge, do something with it. The other photo sleeves, some scraps, vintage, uh, vintage little playing cards from Happy Mail. This is a page from the book. And I just took some of my favorites and put them in here. Look at that, look at that. Love it, love it. And then this is a little, uh, this is a little washi tape that came off of something in a Happy Mail. And I stuck it up there, this page had a little bit of damage. Little sleeve with a journaling card. Made the little pocket with this little piece. Stuck some little um, journaling cards in there. A little pocket here and some of my favorite, some of my pet favorite pieces. And I've hoarded a couple of these for a long time. I put that one in here, look. Cause she's gonna have a big sister. So, well, this is brother, but anyway, you get the idea. If I cut that off, nobody will ever know, right? <laughs> Still keep. Um, some of these little journaling cards I printed from a um, kit. Well, not really a kit, but some scans I bought off of Etsy. And these two were actual October afternoon pieces that I've been saving. I just, I don't know, I've been hoarding these forever. I just think they're the cutest things. So they're going in here. They're going in here for Miss Sophia Louise. That's her name if I hadn't told y'all. Um, this is another really pretty paper that I like. This one too, this is a Maggie Holmes paper. And then this little clip, um, this little clip came from Jessica Harris. It was in that, we did a journal swap a while back. And uh, I just love, I love that texture. I love that color. Um, more little Happy Mail pieces. This little bag, love it. And this was also in Happy Mail. This is so cool. This is a laminated tag. It's awesome. Look, Christy, I bet you'll like that. Anyway, that's cool. Looks like they took a, um, vintage storybook page. It may not actually be vintage, like a printable or something, laminated. But that's awesome. That's cool. And just more things that I really, really like. Um, love this paper. Some graph paper. Took one of those little file folders that I found in Texas. And I haven't collaged or anything on here yet. I will. I just sort of put this together and just loaded it up with, with Happy Mail stuff and things that I really like. Some really pretty buttons. Um, some more of that sorry silk that came from Jessica's swap. And, uh, and that's Jessica Harris. This was also in a Happy Mail. And these are little felt buttons. Are they not the cutest things? Have y'all ever seen those? I have not. 
but there's there was a couple of them in that happy meal, and I love them. Mm, little um, children's book pages made a big flip out with that, stitched it on. Another pocket, more journaling cards, um, book pages. These are so cute. These I picked up from scrapbook.com, and I think they're a prima. It says, My Little Girl. I love this, a wee little story. And then there's like the cow jumped over the moon kind of themes. Uh, I just thought these were just precious. Anyway, so put all those in here. And of course, another child craft page. Another little sleeve. Another um, pages from the book. These, these col the coloring in these books and the texture of these pages are just awesome. I just love those old books, especially in the 40s. I think it was something in the 40s with the paper that they used, and it's just got that beautiful aging to it. And you can still, I don't think, even if I bent this, I don't think this paper would crack. I'm not gonna do that, but I don't think it would. Here's another October afternoon piece that I was saving forever because I just loved it. And then I made myself a little, the little slide pocket page and put some little goodies in there to use. Um, just a little envelope, another um, page stuck in here from that, from that same book. It's a printable, and that's KBM Friends. I've mentioned um, that shop before. She has a lot of really cute stuff if you want to. She does birthday invitations and all kinds of stuff like that. Like, if you don't want to take the time to do all that, um, I think most of us in, in the community that I'm involved in, um, most of y'all, we, we all do kind of this stuff, but digital stuff is pretty cool, too, because you can have a really retro-looking um, birthday cards and stuff from doing digitals. So that was a Dick and Jane page, and then made a little envelope by this beautiful... Uh, I think this is a Maggie Holmes paper, too. And then this was from a book that Phaedra gave me, and it definitely seen as better days. Look at that. Look at the aging on that. It was a, one of those little books that, um, it was like a, you know, Mother Goose book. And this is Hey Diddle Diddle. They have, like, this little record. This was, like, a little record in it. But isn't that cute? I made a tag out of it. I put, um... I just, um, did I just, I think I sealed it. I think what I did was I sealed it because this is the actual aging on it. I sealed it and I stitched around it. Isn't that cute? Just love it. Just had to, I had to use that somewhere. I got so many neat things that you guys have given me. It's just incredible. If I haven't told y'all how much I love you and appreciate you, um, I, you know, I'm gonna tell you now, I'll probably tell you again. I hope I don't ever forget and don't ever you know, get to the point where I f just forget just how special you all are and and how much I appreciate you all um, and how much this just this just makes me happy. So, mm -hmm. this was another um, this was another book page that Phaedra gave me, um, and I just took and put some the little um, cheap protectors. They're not. It's kind of like acetate, like the overhead projector type things. I have a whole thing of those that I salvage from work. And I put that on one side. and But look at that. I love the colors. I hope you guys can see this. And oh, I'm at 18 minutes. This is taking forever. Um, but, uh, yeah, just really cool. So I'm going to probably make some kind of little tuck out of that or pocket or, you know, maybe put a little picture on it. I don't know. Whatever I'm feeling at the moment. This is a tag that also came, a bunch of these came in some happy mail and flash card. And these really cute Pictionary cards, if you see, they got the little drawn out, little fun um, images like little rabbit and a kite and a car. That was really cute. More of the storybook page um, from the book. Love this polka dot paper. It's got some foiling on some of the polka dots. Um, more pretty paper from I think this is also a Maggie Holmes paper. I cut this little piece out, um, what little girls are made of from uh, the child craft. The little butterfly, just stitch that on there. 
I just loaded this book up with all the things I love. And uh, another sleeve. Put a little piece of washi like label up there. Bugs and butterflies. And then I had to I had to include this because this is one of my all-time favorite images from uh, Eloise Wilkins. Um, I just love it. So this was also a book that Phaedra gave me, and it was a a book that had several stories in it. So it's a reprint of some of her stories, um, like a collection, and it's got that glossy paper. But I just I had to. Yeah, I had to use that in here. Just had to do it. Just some little scrap pieces in here. Another Dick and Jane. Ledger. Love this ledger. I'm, I've am i just about used it all. It's one that I got from, um, Patty had one I didn't like, I didn't look out when I was in Texas and find any. So, um, Patty, thank you, sweet Patty, um, had one. And she shared with me um, when I was in Texas, and I think I've used just about all that up in my projects. And let's stuck this in. And then I just took that. I thought this was kind of cool. Even this won't be the end of her story. So to be the end, I'm just going to put like the end of this chapter or something like that in her life. But I thought I'd put the end page in here. Anyway, and then... Um, Kept these pages, kept this here. I just love, love this. I didn't really want to cover it up. And then that's the back. And if you see, it's got that really cute little duck on the back. And I added the book corners, but, um, and I stuck this in here because this is, this was from uh, another Mother Goose book that I really like. I think I'm gonna make kind of like a little envelope with it, with little Bo Peep. So I stuck that in here the other night. Anyhow, so that is this little, this is my granddaughter's um, book, um, and I will kind of keep y'all updated as things, as I work in this one. Um, maybe I'll wait till I have several pages done and then share. And then I'm going to come back and show you two other, um, if you want to, let me know if you want to see this. Um, so this is the journal that I'm working on from my Texas trip with Phaedra, okay? And then, so this was, this is a little bit different. This is something I kind of put together. And I'll tell you where I got the inspiration from the cover from when I do the video. But I've got all the pictures in here. I've got a lot of little bits and pieces stapled here and there. I just need to really go back and do the journaling in it. But if you want to see that, let me know. And then the Christmas book. And I know this video is going to be long, but, you know, hang with me or, you know, watch part of it now and part of it later. So, I showed you this. I just kind of gave you a peek. Um, but I came back and I did this. I'm sure I'm in frame. I just hit my knee. That felt really good. Um, I came back and, and did this um, binding like you know, Hannah did in that Nameless Art Journal and put my charms down here. So, everything in here is kind of... Um, it's a little more sturdy now than the way I had it before. And I have everything, um, all the pictures and stuff in here. I just haven't actually done the, um, the actual journaling and stuff. So I will come back. Um, I will finish this before Christmas of this year. Um, but just kind of show you how I work. This is kind of how I work. I'll put a book together. I put little things in it. I come back, I print my pictures. I kind of put my pictures where I think I want them. None's extra in stone. I can change it however I want. Um, this was great this year, both of my boys. And they did not do this intentionally, but look, they're both wearing the same thing. They look like twins. <laughs> um, funny story behind my Christmas tree this year. Anyway, um, so this is kind of how I work. And so I know now I have all my Christmas stuff together and when I get ready to work on it, I feel inspired to do it. I can just um, pull my little trays out and pull this out and I'm ready to go. So um, if y'all wanna see that when I'm done, let me know. And I think I've rambled enough now. Uh, this video is probably 25, 30 minutes long now, but um, I wanted to share some of my things because I know I'm not the greatest about sharing my projects and I've had some of you ask me, do I actually journal? And yes, I do. So um, that's kind of how I started. 
before I started making things for other people. <clears throat> and I'm starting to sound raspy again, so I'm going to go. And uh, thanks for taking a look, stopping by and watching. And um, let me know if you do want to see these other journals. Um, and if you want to see more of those, and I'll do some flips. And love you guys. See you soon. Bye.